All right, guys, this is the final look, and everything is running. Uh, we have a load running right now on the system. The freezer is running, that's why it's pulling 22 amps, 18, 22 amps, and now the solar is at rest. It's uh, almost nighttime here. So it's like 12.2 volt coming in from the solar, and tomorrow it's going to exercise this thing. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the video before, so we have a bypass here. This is the inverter on 30 amp. This is a 30 amp input AC. And we already set it up so we can flip this one and stay on the grid as long as it goes to a uh, state of charge of 80%. Um, then because of winter, that's why we, we just decided to do this. And the ME. ARC50, which has the FAV, is a favorite. This is the advanced model. MEARC50 is the advanced. The MEARC50 is the older model. So this is the one that can able to give you that feature, so you can able to charge your batteries or program them by, by time or date or volt or state of charge. So finally, I already programmed that for Dave. Um, you don't have to worry anymore probably plugging flipping the breaker when he's at work the battery is drained So it's automatically connect so I can initialize that from here the AC in check this out You see it's gonna monitor the state of charge Look at the flashing lights here So now it's like saying charging, but it's not gonna charge. It just monitors look at that inverter inverting and see SOC connect so it's only gonna connect at 80% when the batteries are down it's gonna do it so right now if we go back here and see the BMK oh okay one thing so guys we beefed up the chat um the inverter uh, battery bank which we just covered here so in case so that no, nothing can fall on it and uh, it's uh, 460 amp hours lithium. So if you see now the battery state of charge is monitoring. Um, I have the grid power on here, the inverter. So Dave can go to work now, snowing and whatever. He, do he doesn't have to worry about nothing anymore. Whatever comes from the solar is lower that day. Instead of being at work, worried about if the batteries are getting low, it's going to get disconnected. The system would initialize, uh, uh, set a charge, recognize it, and start charging the batteries. So look at what we're doing right now. It's taking less power. We're not even taking nothing. Well, six. It's flashing six amps. So Dave is doing laundry. You can see. This is just a temporarily fix. It's the cable. That's kind of cool. I've never seen an extension with a green. And look at that. It's washing and after that it's gonna go do the drying so the drying is gonna go on 240 because it doesn't we are not done yet with the 240 thing so right there very efficient that's what Dave said so he's washing his clothes for free for free hey and this is where the system is gonna go right there but right now we keep it on that corner so guys that's it and I think I'm done and I'm Dave, done. I'm done. Now look for you right here. That's the, uh, the stand he built. The batteries. Like he knows, he just extend that thing and we just fit another 12 more batteries there. And now it's all the way to the brim, to the top. He's a smart guy. So, and that's the end right there. Fit exactly 28 batteries on this thing. Sturdy, very strong, not going anywhere. All right, bye. Thank you. Subscribe and share. Live from the command center. Oh, not from the command center. From Grillmeister Dave. Solar extravaganza Frankenstein. Frankenstein 2.0. 2.0. Why? Why? Well, here you go, John. I finally did what you said and uh, finally listened to what you told me I was supposed to do and I didn't quite understand it. But I unplugged uh, for myself from the grid. This is what's running right now. As you can see, there we go. 
and there it is so that's where we are right now at this very moment and uh there's your update